Hello everyone, welcome back to the DevOps camp. In this video, I will guide you through installing latest Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 9.4 on Oracle VirtualBox as a virtual machine. Before starting the installation, you will need to first download the latest Red Hat Enterprise Linux ISO image and activate the developer subscription to use it. Also, you will need to have the Oracle VirtualBox installed on your computer. We have already discussed about these topics in previous videos. I will include the links of those videos in the description. Please watch and download the prerequisites before watching this, so that you can complete the installation with me parallelly. Hoping you have all the prerequisites for this video, I will start the tutorial now. First, open Oracle VirtualBox. We need to create a virtual machine in order to install Red Hat. For that, click on Machine in the top toolbar, and select New. Now, we need to give a name to our VM. You can give any name which makes sense. Next, you can select which folder in the hard disk stores the files of the virtual machine. You can keep it as default, however I will change it. Next, you need to select the downloaded Red Hat ISO image from the downloaded location. Since I previously used it, I have it in my quick access panel. Then, please check skip unattended installation in order to follow up with me. And, click on next. Now, you need to reserve the RAM and the CPU cores for the VM. Minimum requirements are 2 GB of RAM and 2 CPU cores. However, I will reserve the recommended requirements, which are 4 GB of RAM and 4 CPUs. Next, we need to reserve the disk space for the VM installation. Minimum requirement is 20 GB and recommended is 80 GB. You can select an amount depending on the free space of your disk. Now setting up the VM is done, you can check the summary and click on finish. Now, we have to start the VM and install Red Hat Enterprise Linux on it. For that, click on the created VM, and then click start. Then, the VM will start, and be booted. Then, you will get some options to choose from. You can select either of the first two options. To install the Red Hat on the VM straight away, I will select the first option. You can click on the middle of the screen using mouse, and then use arrow keys on keyboard to navigate between options. You may be wondering how to take the mouse pointer out of the VM, if this is the first time you are using VirtualBox. You can click the left control key in your keyboard to do that. It will take some time to boot up to the installation menu. In this window, you can click on your preferred language, and then click continue. Now, we first need to select the installation disk. For that, click on installation destination. I am having a difficulty with my mouse pointer. This is mainly due to not having the VirtualBox guest editions installed. We will have to install it after the OS is installed. Here, click on the hard disk twice, and then select done. Now, we can connect our Red Hat Developer Subscription Activated account to the installation. So that, it can be licensed. Click on Connect to Red Hat, then enter your account details, and click on Register. Great! You have now successfully linked your Red Hat account and registered the VM. Now, we need to change the installation source. Just wait few seconds until the option becomes available.
Now, click on Installation Source. Then, select the option Auto Detected Installation Media. If you want, you can verify the files. But I will skip it. Now, we need to confirm the software selection. There are tons of options in this page to choose. Let's proceed with the default settings and click on Done. Now, we need to enable the root account and set a root password. Choose a password of your choice. If you need to access root account using SSH remotely, check that option too. I have explained about accessing a Linux VM via SSH in deep in another video and the link to that video will be in the description. Now, you can either create a user account, or move on with the root account, and set up users later. I will create a user now. For the ease of use, I will make this user an administrator, so that this account have the root access. Normally, we don't use the root account unless it's something essential. Now, it's the final step. Setting up the installation is finished now. Let's begin with the installation. However, this installation can take up to one hour or more. Now, the installation is finished. We can click Reboot System. The VM will then boot up with the freshly installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The OS is successfully booted now. You can click on your user account and enter the password you set to log in. Great work! Now, we are logged into our VM. You can try experimenting with it now. However, you will be facing some performance issues, but I will soon make a video, to guide you through how to install VirtualBox Guest Editions, and solve the performance and graphics issues. That's it for this video. Like this video and subscribe to the DevOps Camp for more interesting content. Thank you for watching.